No, I think the best thing that we could Terry do is Cowley is one of at least 100 million American adults who struggle to manage pain. chronic pain. Um, intense deep pain, especially in the area of the eyebrow and around the eyes. Uh, a stiff neck with, you know, you're hardly able to move your neck from one side to the other. Bone pain in the temporal region. Terry works regularly with her physicians to manage her pain and says the self-management tools she uses are critical to lessening her pain and increasing her function. Every pain patient should have a physician, such as an anesthesiologist, coordinating his or her care. Part of this care may include medication, physical therapy, and activities patients do on their own to help ease the burden of pain on their minds and their bodies. Terry has become an advocate to help others who suffer from pain. She's the president of the TMJ Association, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to improve the quality of health care and lives of everyone affected by temporomandibular disorders. She finds her work helping others with chronic pain rewarding. The way the organization started, um, four years after the surgery, I was just reading the Sunday paper and there was this ad about this or little story about this big and at the end if you want to talk or start a support group call Sandy Galvos or the number. I called Sandy we immediately made a date to meet at the Chancery. Self-management pain for Terry is a big part of her treatment program. Research has demonstrated that self-management of chronic pain leads to significantly reduced pain and better overall outcomes. I see the best success from patients like Terry who are active participants in their treatment. These patients are educated about their conditions and have experimented with self-management techniques enough to know which ones best meet their needs. What I do on days when I just feel really lousy, um, I grocery shop, I run errands. I just try to keep moving and keep myself going uh, four years ago, I signed up at a fitness center where you had one-on-one -on -one person. He was absolutely fabulous, and we started out like with him just trying to have me raise my arms. Self-management techniques for chronic pain patients include getting involved in a chronic pain program to educate oneself about the condition and how best to self-manage under the care of a physician, exercising, eating right, muscle relaxation, distraction techniques and other cognitive behavioral therapy to help manage depression or other difficult emotions. Remember, before adding any additional treatments to care for chronic pain, talk with your health care provider and get clearance for the treatment. Do not change any prescribed treatment without consulting a physician. Self-management techniques are designed to complement overall treatment plans and are not meant to replace ongoing medical care. We have X numbers of years left. and. No matter what we position we're in, we have to make the most of them. If there's a suggestion I'd have for anybody, it's to just find one thing that you really, really, really love to do or did do or wanted to do. And if it's only one thing and you can only do it for a few hours a day or an hour or 15 minutes, great.